This is a case that even after more than two and a half years still has tensions high in this community. Just one example, the court is asking news reporters to withhold the identities of some witnesses because they fear for their safety. It was a dark and very cold evening in December of 2016. The darkness of that night lingers over this courtroom. Officer Mike McClory shot in the head and left permanently blind. Prosecutors say gang member Ernesto Rivas opened fire as McClory knocked on his door and asked about a gang shooting that happened earlier that day. Officer McClory says, Ernie, we just want to talk to you. And he kind of turns away and he looks down and right as he's looking there, he's shot. Deputy Prosecutor Rosemary Cajola Kula says Rivas later admitted to the shooting while calling friends and family members during a five hour standoff. He communicated with a relative of his. He called her in the midst of it. And she told law enforcement, he told me that he had shot a cop in the head. He was trying to do good things in his life. He was trying to go straight. But Rivas' attorneys say he didn't pull the trigger at all. They paint a picture of a family man who was no longer actively involved in gang life. A man who had actually worked with police and the city on issues related to the Latino community. Jason Smith telling jurors it was one of the teenagers involved in that earlier shooting hiding in Rivas' home who actually shot Officer McClure. Ernesto tries to stop him from shooting but is unable to do so. This was brought upon him, this nightmare to his house. We are also expecting to hear from Officer Mike McClory himself in testimony during this case and see surveillance video of the actual shooting. The case is expected to last four to six weeks. In Mount Vernon, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.